Hello, and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Casey. Today we're going to be learning a trick for adding center marks and center lines to helical bodies in SolidWorks. To begin, I'm going to open a spring model and create a new drawing from part. Next, I'm going to throw on the three standard orthogonal views and an isometric view onto the drawing sheet. Now that I have the standard views created, I'm ready to begin adding annotations. In SOLIDWORKS, you can only add a center mark to a hole, fillet, or slot. The trick to get SOLIDWORKS to add a center mark to the front view is to utilize the sketch that was used to create the helix. To use the sketch, expand the feature manager for the front view, right click on the sketch used to create the helix, and set it to show. Select the shown sketch in the drawing view and click center mark on the command manager. Now SOLIDWORKS will let us add a center mark on the swept body and add customization to the center mark if needed. Next I'm going to add a center line. There are a couple of methods to accomplish this type of annotation. My preferred method is to create an axis that will represent a center line in the drawing. To do this, I'm going to jump back over to the spring part file. On the features tab, click reference geometry and select axis. There are a couple of different ways to define an axis. I'm going to use two of the primary planes to create my new axis. Now that the axis has been created, I'm going to switch back to the drawing. The nice thing about creating a reference axis at the part level is that it can be used in multiple drawing views. I will expand the top and right views and show the axis in both. The length of the axis can be adjusted in each view as needed for company standards. And that's my tip for adding center marks and center lines to spring bodies and SOLIDWORKS drawings. Thanks for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. Hope to see you next week. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.